Hello everyone. Thank you for the wonderful introduction, sir, and thank you, panelists, for such wonderful, insightful uh, presentations. So, what I am going to do today is to take you uh, with me through a journey, a train journey, of course. Uh, where just imagine you are getting into a train where you have to sit for let's say next six hours or you have to sleep overnight for next 10 hours how would you feel knowing the fact when you enter you see a screen that says aqi air quality outside is 500 and air quality inside where you are going to stay for next six to ten hours is 50 or below won't you feel confident won't there be a feeling of relaxation yes the environment that I am in Indian in Indian railways I will be breathing fresh air so this is kind of environment that we can create using a technology that has been developed in IIT Kanpur and IIC Bangalore they hold the patent we are one of the innovators in this indigenous technology what we are doing is uh, any filter it becomes a breeding ground for germs because they work on a capture mechanism so what happens they capture germs and become breeding ground and allow growth which can again resuspend back into the air around you. We have developed a coating over the filters using bio polymers or plant based coating over the filters that can destroy germs. The validations that we have it can even destroy COVID-19 or coronavirus delta variant which was responsible for second uh, wave in India. It can remove PM.1. We heard about PM10, 2.5. We have gone beyond to PM.1 and it is completely biodegradable, hence environment and human friendly. Now just the end slide here, but the significance of clean air in Indian railways. So air we intake uh, every day is approximately 8 meter cube or 8,000 liters. Average PM in India is 120 micrograms per meter cube and let's say clean air we say we are providing 50 micrograms per meter cube. So the difference that is 70 micrograms per meter cube multiplied by the air that we are intaking gives us the dust eliminated which might get into our system but now has been eliminated which gives us approximately 560 micrograms per day. Now average travel time by in Indian railways per person, let's say we are taking it for now 4 hours in 1 year. I am just travelling for 4 hours in 1 year. So the dust eliminated per individual, I multiply by that, per year would be 100 micrograms. That might not seem a big number unless you multiply that with the number of passengers that are originating in Indian railways which is close to on an average 8,000 millions. I have divided by two just to uh, have a more realistic number. Then total when you multiply this the total dust eliminated per year would come out to be 400 kgs. So approximately close to the weight that we have on stage a bit less than that or you can look around in these circular tables the, the weight around that much weight of PM10 can be eliminated getting into the lungs of Indians. This, not, this is not all the particle size that we are talking about is 10 micrometers so you can just imagine to make one kilogram of such particles how many particles do we need any guesses it's not million it's not billion it's actually quadrillion so I had to search this one quadrillion particles can be eliminated per kg so that means if we have clean air in Indian railways this many particles I cannot recite it but yes these many particles can be eliminated from the Indian lungs and the individual that we were talking about uh, 100 micrograms per year that seem to be a very low number but when you multiply that with the number of particles you will you, you can conclude around a crore particles can be eliminated going into the individual's lungs so indian railways definitely is lifeline of india and it might be the channel to provide clean air to entire india thank you very much thanks ravi